Hey everyone, I'm Megfer and today um, I'm going to show you this system down here. It's a, uh, a device which essentially counts the number of uh, items in um, containers and it tells you which one had the most items. So think of it like a maybe a vote counting system, something like that. So we're going to have a quick look around and then I will do a quick build for it. Okay, so let's dive straight in. So just talk you through what this thing does. Um, I've got four droppers here, and these will be filled with a number of items each. And the system will essentially count those items and display which one, which dropper had the most items by lighting an indicator lamp here. So if you think of it as a voting system, you place your vote in whichever one you want, and then um, they you know, you pull, pull a lever over here. Those votes all get counted and the winner is displayed through the light. So how does it work? It works because I'm using these comparators here to, to read whether there is anything in any of the droppers. And uh, through repeated send signal, this dust then will be lit whilst ever any of these droppers have anything in them. And therefore that'll start this clock, little comparison clock, which comes down here. The clock will light up these repeaters the repeaters will turn off these torches and that allows items to, to fall through. Uh, but it also runs this, um, it powers the droppers. So the droppers will be firing items into this top hopper here. And at the same time, the clock will be releasing these hoppers to allow the items to fall through. Um, it's on three ticks because on bedrock, that's the speed you need to run your hoppers at to make sure that it's deterministic. I think on Java, you might be able to speed it up. Uh, and if you can, you could probably run these on one tick and you might be able to run your hopper line straight down. So rather than having the hoppers um, facing off to the sides here, actually just run them straight down, have all of these repeats on one tick. I, that might work. You'd need to try it. I can't, I, I'm only got bedrock, so I can't test that for you, but it feels like it ought to work. Okay, so let's do a quick demo. Um, I've got this lever turned on at the moment that uh, drains my system and stops any new items being counted. I'm going to put nine in there. I'm going to put eight in here. I'll put uh, 10 in there and nine in here. So I'm expecting this to be my winner. I'm going to put a little block on there, just mind us. And we pull a lever. Let's see what happens. So all my lights come on. Everyone gets excited. Eventually somebody falls out. They've lost and the winner's displayed. There you go. Then I just have to pull a lever again. That'll drain the system out. And I just want to quickly show you what happens if it's a draw. So let's say I've got three and three in the middle here. And over here, I've got one, and over here, I've got two, say. Okay, so I'm expecting now that my middle two should be winners. And there you go. So that is my vote counter. It's um, It should work on Java and Bedrock, I think, but you might be able to optimize it a bit more on Java, just make it a bit faster. So give that a go. Let me know how you get on. So one other thing you could think about doing with this system is to um, is to actually run a, an item filter. So you could have, if you imagine a voting booth where people can go in and they can choose a color of wool based on the option they want. They would drop that into a, um, a, a container. It would get filtered out and it would depend on the filter. It would go into one of these um, different droppers along here. And obviously once everyone's finished voting, you then pull the lever and it does the count. And that would be another way of maybe of, of improving the system if you want to have a look at that. Okay, let's do this build. So I'm gonna start with a four wide system and I'm gonna lay down therefore four barrels. And around the back of those, I want to put a, a line of hoppers into the back and a second line of hoppers into those. So you can see they're all facing towards their respective barrels. And I'm gonna put some opaque blocks on top of the barrels 
and my indicator lights on top of that. Down here, I want comparators. And into the back of those comparators, I'm going to have some more hoppers. And I also want to put some temporary blocks up here because I want a set of hoppers pointing into there as well. Okay, they can go again now. Fine. So now um, let's put a row of blocks here with torches along here. And we're going to have, on top of each of those, we're going to have um, another block. And I'm just going to, just to make it easier, actually, I'm going to just build up here a second with some temporary blocks, because now we're going to place our droppers pointing towards me along here. And they can go again. OK. So now we uh, build out a little platform here. And I'm going to put comparators reading the contents of the droppers. And those go into repeaters just to extend the signal. Dust here. And then another little platform where I'm going to build my clock. So make sure you set this on subtract mode. So it's got the light list at the front. Uh, just to side this block, then I want to build up two and one there. I can get rid of these temporary blocks here and run my dust down the side here. And then we're nearly done. So put some repeats in the back. I need to have to be on three ticks. Certainly on bedrock, let me know how you got on with Java and the dust behind all of those. Okay, and then the last thing to do is our reset switch. So we will take a lever on top of this block here. And when I pull that, you can see that lights everything up, turns out the torches, drains these systems out. So that's it. That's the build done, simple as, as that. Except the eagle-eyed amongst you will obviously have noticed I missed off a bit of uh, redstone from here. So just add that in and then you're done. So this video is actually uh, inspired by a user called Scorpions on Reddit um, who's asking for a vote counting system and I put this together. Uh, so thank you Scorpions for the idea and I hope you guys all enjoyed this. If you did, please press the like button and think about subscribing for more videos later on. Thank you.